evening, Yankee Girl TV fans. It's Michelle Spaziano, your host, and tonight I am in the Hilton Hotel in Nashville getting ready to attend the Divine Knot, the Red Hat Society. The reason they call it the Divine Nine is because of the eight bordering states along Tennessee and plus Tennessee. Last night, I was blessed to meet some of these ladies. I was Go seniors! We are the Red Hats, howdy do! We are here to cheer for you! She's from Ohio. is our national sport <laughs> Our family. Now, I gotta tell you, they're having a birthday, they're turning 50, 60, maybe 70. There is no need to be afraid because these ladies, this organization is one of those things that makes women accept getting older, but... <laughs> Hi, I'm Deborah Granich. I'm the CEO of the Red Hat Society. Right now we have about 80,000 uh, members and about 20,000 chapters in 25 countries. Wow, and how, how many years have you been a part of the Red Hat Society? I've been with Red Hat Society for over 11 years and we are now going to be celebrating our 13th birthday. Yes, yeah, Sue Ellen started it 13 years ago. She was inspired by it with this Red Hat because of the morning poem by Jenny Joseph. Since we start a red hat, we've evolved into something much deeper, far greater, and more meaningful. In one sentence, who's red hat? I say we're a woman's playgroup. <laughs> so, what's the best part about getting older? The best part. No menstrual cycle. Oh, the best thing about the golden years is that your children are all gone. When your grandchildren come, you can take care of them and send them back to their parents. Because so many of the worries and obligations of our younger years are gone. We really don't care what people think. <laughs> and what's the best thing about um, being in the Red Hat Society? The best thing is about meeting new friends every day. Uh, especially at this convention, I've had a blast. Uh, the best part is knowing I'm making a difference. The Red Hat Society is making a difference in so many women across the United States and the world. I have gained so many friends. Friends. Sisterhood. I have them all over the world now. The wonderful friends we make. It has brought an independence that I didn't know I had. The best thing that's ever happened. Aww, Society. really? Sisterhood. And I love getting dressed up in costume. Friendship. Right now we're talking to Diane and Patty, and they are both breast cancer survivors. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, my friends decided to be my guardian angels, and I never felt so much love. And did you get that kind of support from this group when you were? I've got the support from not just the, them, but my Facebook friends, uh -huh. which part of them are part of the Red Hat Society. What kind of advice would you give to somebody who just came down with it? Talk, okay. Don't hide, it. don't hide it. Talk to your friends and, and get everybody you know to pray for. <laughs> What's the fav well, your favorite accessory you're wearing? My favorite accessory? It has to be my hat. What's your favorite? Oh, this. I need to go. Congeniality, Alabama. You go, girl. Probably my hat. My amethyst ring. Wow. I bought it in New York when I went for the that's, second time. That's a good place to buy it. <laughs> New York. <laughs> what is the wildest thing you've done in the Red Hat Society? I can't guess yeah. and tell. That, that. <laughs> I music. was lost on the beach. <laughs> Yeah. Got tattoos? And what party was it? For my 50th birthday. Oh, oh boy, you're getting crazy on me. You have to go under that and you can't touch anything. See, this is part of the problem. I keep talking to people and I'm getting all the prim and proper oh, answers. Okay, well, I didn't know. Well, I'm trying to show the wild side of the Red Hat Society. The Red Hatters are much wilder than us pink hatters. 
they may have been giving you the comps. Yeah, oh, they, they, yeah, they're not telling. They're they not can definitely dessert. get rowdy. And you saw last night at midnight and mimosas. Mm -hmm. Some of them feeding me mimosas <laughs> and jello shots. <laughs> Organization-wise, I think it's the bra heads. I think that's the most restaurants. We go to events like this in public with our bra on our head. $20 bra to put on your head. Um, well, I'm afraid the wildest thing I've ever done, I get thirsty not. St. Patrick's Day. I hope I haven't done it yet. He was buying Jameson Irish Whiskey shots. Went to the wild horse loop. I couldn't refuse being a good Irish lady. I'm oh, told you I had to kill you. Got the red it. hat stays in the red hat. I only had three. Ooh. We don't tell. <laughs> I'm sick of that answer. What happens in the red hat or stay? Stay in the red hat. Stay in the red hat. To oh, oh Ren. To find out. I got pretty wasted on three. <laughs> I heard y'all went skinny dipping one time. Well, I'm not sure about that. I wasn't involved in that. <laughs> now, Jean, I gotta ask you, are you part of the group that skinny dipped? <laughs> no, that's not me. I don't know anything like that. My chapter name is Queen Tasty, and it's because... <laughs> that's Butterfly Diva. So everybody has, like, a, a nickname? Yes. Okay. And who gives you the nickname? My name came from my dear friend's granddaughter. I was looking for a name, and she said Butterfly Diva. Uh, What's your name? Cherie. Cherie? A.K.A. Sunshine. Oh, Sunshine! I love tell, tell Yankee Girl TV fans what pink hatters are. Pink hatters, we are the ladies that we wear pink and lavender, and we wear these colors until we turn 50. Once we turn 50, they're royal colors, which are the purple and the red. Okay, but Thank God you look good in pink and purple yeah. because you got a long time to wear I those colors. Long. Some of those half, those ladies are wearing are big and heavy. Yeah. I mean, don't they hurt your neck? I mean, I think I did. Women in general, we pay the price to be cute. So, Yankee Girl TV Bye, fans. Yankee Girl TV fans. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Yeah. I'm going to break it down with some of the red hair.